Coming next, Cop on the Stage on Cop TV. The following program is brought to you by Cop Audio Services. Visit copaudioserve.com. Hi, and welcome to Cop on Stage, where you discover the coolest facts about live music ever. Today we have exclusive content. In an interview with the program, Papo Combs Lee, Brazilian record producer Pena Schmitz reveals the backstage assembly of the legendary German electronic band Kraftwerk at the Free Jazz Festival in Rio de Janeiro in 1998. That was the first time the band presented in Brazil. Almost 25 years later, the group returns to Brazilian lands with two presentations, one in Rio and another in Sao Paulo. See now the exclusive technical details revealed by the interviewee who helped organize the event in 1998. But Kraftwerk wrote a 40-page long writer. 40 pages. Yeah, a complicated writer had about three or four pages. A complicated writer used it to specify microphone models and that's it. Got it? Uh, these bands get a writer because they are on the road and they kind of expect to find a minimally good equipment so they can be able to feel minimally comfortable to play. Kraftwerk didn't play on the road. <laughs> they didn't. They were inventing the live performance. <laughs> Their whole career was inside the studio, Das Klingklang studio. Everything was made by them, screw by screw, outplanned by them. And they would bring the studio to the road. They had done this before. Uh, New York, I think, someplace like that. In a millionaire concert. And Monique was able to schedule a presentation in Brazil. And everything had to be exactly as they wanted to. Because it was not conventional, because they were craft work. Well, our first finding was we can't do it in one hour of sound check. <laughs> as rendered so that's not possible we can't but we have to uh, but Pena you're the guy ahead of it how are we gonna do two stages there's no way they need 24 hours to assemble what they are doing I said they will play in Sao Paulo and they have to go to Rio de Janeiro so they will need a whole day to assemble it so they can play in the next day this will be you play here today in the next city tomorrow you play in Sao Paulo today, and just after tomorrow, you play in Rio because they need an additional day for the sample. Because you did two stages in the yeah, huge tent. It was Auto National, wasn't it? No, they were set it in Flamingo, isn't it? They had the tent. Well, did they have tents? Marina yeah, the did. Gloria? Marina the Gloria, that's it. Uh, one stage in each side of the tent. Craftwork stage takes 24 hours to be ready and no one can get closed. Can't say that someone who play in the front and let's remove the mics, no. <laughs> the other stage was a normal one. What was it? It was Black IP or something like that. Anyway, I then co band that had a bad luck to play in the same day as Craftwork. But anyway, they had the sound check and Craftwork played the set of the tent. You saw that concert, didn't you? Another one. So then it was magic, it was pure magic. Like, they turn on a black light, suddenly there are four guys playing in a kind of podium ahead of them with their keyboards, and you don't see their legs, just from here to the top. When the light starts to blink, it was not them anymore, they were four robots instead. So four robots entered, and they moved. They are real robots. I mean, that's crazy. And the guys are playing in the backstage. And details that light that turns off. That light pin that tracks to the hand of the guy who is playing a calculator. Like an instrument. Playing in a calculator. There was a light pin, so when they moved their hands, it was possible to light exactly that point. Exactly that place. And there was, I don't know, about 30 different kinds of lamps. The uh, were in conventional stage lights. Everything was specified. And everything worked. Absolutely. From the beginning to the end. We began friends with Big German. <laughs> it was a level of the thing. So they asked me, who will interest to take care of it since they just speak German and an English that we can't understand? <laughs> so we called Andrew Schmitz. 
I think there was a guy from Santa Catarina who knew them before. I three guys that speak German. Yeah. That's crazy. But that was awesome. This word could kind of... Uh, it was a very important part of my career and every single year we had a free jazz festival. 